Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In the previous sessions, we learned about the queue management. In this session, we will learn a beautiful feature offering by Blue Prism that is Scheduler. Scheduler allows Blue Prism to execute processes at specified times and repeat their execution at various intervals. The scheduler is a background process which waits for the next schedule activation time and then activates any schedules due to run at that time. Let me make you understand by giving an example. If you see on my screen, I'm having an example banking domain. Every day we're having transactions like cash withdrawal on depositing cash in the bank. But at the end of the day, I need to get the report of the bank, how much deposit has been encashed or cash withdrawn has happened in the bank. It's nothing but the total transactions happen on the cash withdraw on deposit. How can I get that? See, in previous days, we are going to calculating manually the amount of the particular day for the cash withdraw on the deposit. But now it's a daily routine process on weekdays, right? So what we are going to do in our blue prism, we are going to schedule it every day except on weekends. Okay. And the time is every day, end of the day, 5 p.m. around that we are going to get the report on these things. And the process, what is the process comes into picture? We're going to calculate the amount for the cash withdrawal on the deposit so that, you know, we'll have the, uh, we'll have a calculation for the next day and we'll have the report ready for the next day. So this is the daily routine process. If you are having the process calculating amount for cash withdrawal on the deposit, we can't do it manually processing each and every day. So that what we can do, we can schedule a process over there. This is the way that uh, we are going to do in our real time scenario. So now I will show you how to configure scheduler in Blue Prism. Let me switch to Blue Prism virtual workforce. To change the scheduler settings, first navigate to system. And then over here, you can find it on the bottom side, you will find the system. Under that, you will find the scheduler. If you see, this is the configuration settings. We are going to make it as part of the scheduler. Now, if you see over here, there's an option called checkbox, activate the scheduler for this connection. What does this mean? To enable the scheduler, we have to select this option, activate the scheduler for this environment box to activate it. Or else, uncheck this box for, to inactivate it or to disable it. Okay, so now we have to do activate the scheduler so that I'm going to select the activate or to I'm going to selecting this checkbox. If you see over here on the bottom side that you will find execute missed scheduler from the past. So find suppose if, if there is any schedule has been missed out from the past 15 months or so that I have to once again, I have to run the scheduler over there how much time it has to take it. This is in minutes that you are going to give it in number format so that what I will do if I want to execute the past 20 minutes which have been scheduled but they have missed out so that I can go ahead and I can give the past what how much time it is. If you are giving zero minutes it's nothing but you are not going to be any schedules that you are going to any missed schedules you are not going ahead and you are not going to execute or you know you are going to be running once again the missed the schedule so that it will execute nothing it won't execute the schedules time okay so but in real time scenario most of the times so we will give you know if there's any missed schedules out there from the past 20 minutes we can go ahead and we can run it now we'll come for the resilience right if you see if a source is offline then a retry after five seconds okay let us you know if there's any problem in the processing or uh, you know any issues or there in the resource or the pcs which we have configured then we are trying after five seconds and if you see the resources is offline the maximum number of retry is 10 minutes 10 times it's not minutes it's 10 times we are going to be trying offline resources we are going to retry it these are all the settings for the configuration settings for the scheduler. In the next session, we will learn about the schedules and tasks. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries related to this topic, please post them in the comment section.